Hello and welcome to Food for Thought. Mark Lockridge here. I'm the pastor of New Life Fellowship in Letterkenny, the Milford Reformed Presbyterian Church. It's great to have you with us. The Bible, for many, it's a family heirloom bathed in generations of history. For others, it's a gift from a wedding or some other solemn occasion. Many homes in Donegal have a copy of the Bible, yet all too often it's simply stuck on a shelf or in a press gathering dust. It is, however, the best-selling book of all time, and its impact would be impossible to overstate. I have a book on my shelf by an Indian author entitled The Book That Made Your World. The subtitle is How the Bible Shaped Western Civilization." From the words and phrases we use in daily life, like the powers that be or the salt of the earth, right down to the schools and the hospitals that we depend on, much can be traced back to the profound influence of this book. Yet, for something that's been so fundamental to Irish society for centuries, the Bible's remarkably underread. For one thing, it's a big book. The copy sitting on my desk at the minute runs to over 1,200 pages, and it can be hard to know where to start. For another thing, it's unlike most other books. It contains a variety of different writing styles, some of which can sound rather unfamiliar to our ears. Yet perhaps the biggest reason why so few have read the Bible is that they've been actively discouraged from doing so. They've been told or given the impression that in order to really get it, you need to be an expert. Don't read that. They're told it's not for you. And I think that's tragic. We live at a fascinating time in history with the rise of AI and the production of deep fakes and fake news and people wondering what can we rely on And along with the failure of much of modern life to deliver on its promises, many are turning back to ancient wisdom, especially that found in the Bible. I have a book also sitting at my desk at the minute by an atheist. And he advocates, among other things, reading the Bible for our well-being. People are finding it more relevant than they imagined. So whatever the reason is for you, I want to encourage you to read the Bible for yourself. Its message is far more straightforward than people assume and it's designed to be read by everyone. No matter how much or how little prior experience they have, why not pick up a copy or or find it online? Start with the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke or John, which give us an immediate introduction to Jesus. He himself is the key to the whole book. And yet the Bible is a big book. It's a library, in fact, with 66 different books. And it can be helpful to have a road map or an overview of its contents, and that's why our church in Milford is running, as I've mentioned before, the Bible course, and I want to invite you to it. The format is simple. We'll watch a brief video that explores some of the Bible's themes, and then there'll be time to ask questions or to discuss what we've watched. You're not there to be lectured to. It's a chance to explore. We hope that those who attend will come to see the Bible isn't nearly as intimidating as they've been led to believe and that they'll have tools to help them navigate it with confidence. We want you to have the joy of seeing that the Bible contains the greatest, most life-changing, most hope-giving news the world has ever seen. So please feel free to come along and see more for yourself. You'll not be put in the spot, you'll not be forced to speak, you'll not be asked for money or pressured into coming again. The course begins this Wednesday, the 18th of September, and runs for the next eight weeks. It's well worth attending all eight nights, but you're free to dip in and out as you choose. We'll be meeting at our church in the retail park behind Little at 8pm each Wednesday. If you have any questions, drop me an email. But we'd love to see you there. And if you can't make it, why not start to read Mark's Gospel? It's the shortest of the accounts of Jesus' life and ministry. Thanks for listening, and if you want to get in touch or find out more, drop me an email, mark at newlifefellowship.ie. Have a great week.